Well, hello students. Again, Mr. Eckman going through another concept with you, a very important concept, energy. Chapter 8, video 2 is on the conservation of energy. What that means is total energy never changes. The book, there's a following. The book gives you change in potential plus change in kinetic energy is zero which makes perfect sense. Total energy never changes. As this goes up, the change of potential goes up, the change of potential goes down. If that goes up 10, that goes down 10 joules. Total energy never changes. I don't like using that equation because on some harder problems, students get all confused with the change. It's an easier way, much easier way. Watch. Again, the concept is total energy never changes. It's going to change forms. So, here's an example for you. A roller coaster. Starts from zero velocity, top of this hill, height h. There's my zero point right there. Always label your zero point. It tells me how you're measuring h. Right now, it seems very easy. Later on, the problems get harder. It's really important to have a good zero point. It keeps the problem solving easier. But right now, that's my zero point. Height is h. Velocity initial is zero. Coming down the hill, you're going to start to gain speed. You go faster, faster, faster. You're gaining kinetic energy. As you gain kinetic, you're losing height. You're losing potential. So that you gain in potential, gain in kinetic, is lost by the loss of potential. Or better yet, Potential goes to kinetic. So let's go from point A to point B. I want the velocity right here. As I go down the hill, potential energy right here. There's no kinetic. It's not moving. Potential energy at point A went to energy at point B. At point B, there's no height. No height. Zero point. Therefore, all of the energy must be kinetic. Okay. This is mgh for my potential. Kinetic is one half mv squared. Mass is cancel. V squared is 2gh. So right here at point B, V squared is 2gh. Question one's done. There's question one. Question two, find the velocity at point C. Right here, what's the velocity? Well, let's go from B to C. We could also go from A to C. We'll do that over here. We'll do this question twice. Once from A, let's go from B. B to C for this one, and for this one, we'll go from A to C. It doesn't matter. You can choose your starting and any points which means this answer and this should be the same answer. Let's go play with it. B to C. Here's point B. There's no height. It's all kinetic. Kinetic energy. And up here, where'd it go? Went up to a height, went to potential. But it may still be moving. Let's say kinetic. Kinetic energy, right here, is one half mv squared, potential is mgh. This is one half mv squared at the very top. Let's call this one v1, let's call this one v2. v1, v2. So one half m. What is v1? Well, v squared, v1 squared, that's a v1, is 2gh. That's 2gh. This is mgh plus one half mv2 squared. And uh, mass is all cancel. And we have half of this is gh equals to gh plus one half v2 squared. These are equal. Therefore, v2 must be zero. This is zero. That's called the conservation of energy going from B to C. 
Or as you see this, or think about it, right here, same height, same height, therefore same velocities. Same velocities, same height, same velocities. Let's do it again, just for fun. Let's go from A to C. A to C. At A, it's all potential. There's no kinetic. Potential is MGH. At point C, let's assume there's kinetic and potential. So MGH plus kinetic. You can see very quickly, these must be equal. Therefore, kinetic energy must be zero, which means velocity, V2, is zero. So we did the problem for you two ways. This way and this way. A to C and B to C. One more. Let's find velocity at point D. Right, there's point D. There's lots of choices. I can go from here, C to D. I could go from B to D. I could go from A to D. It doesn't matter. So it's my choice. Either C to D, or B to D, or A to D. Let's go from A to D. Now, A to D. Up here, there's no kinetic. It's all potential, which is going to be all potential. Over here, there's a height. Let's call that height h over 2. Right there, height h over 2. It's a height right here, which means it's a potential. And it's also moving, velocity. Because velocity here is 0, it's moving here. Let's go find that velocity, kinetic. M G H. This is M G H over two. The height here is H over two. Height H over two. Height here H over two. Height here is H plus kinetic. Plus one half M V squared. All of the masses cancel. And we have G H is equal to G H over two plus one-half v squared. If I go ahead and multiply through by two, I get two gh equals to gh plus v squared. This comes over here. v squared is equal to gh. So right here, velocity is v squared is two, no, this is gh. GH. Right there, GH. Okay, we're done. Anyway, that's the uh, beginning of the problems in Chapter 8. Go play the problem sets, and we'll do another video for you next time. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>